the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 332 2 Corinthians 1-4 You are the letters of Christ. The fragrance of Christ conveyed through Christians is the channel which gives life to the people of the world and helps them to be saved. First point. Paul asked the Corinthian church to continually pray and persecution was to continue. Paul wrote his letter so that it could be circulated around the Corinthian church and then to the other churches across the region. He hoped that it would reach Athens and other churches around. As Paul wrote to Corinthians, he firstly greeted them, praised God, and then explained why he was unable to greet them in person, and instead was writing a letter. He wrote that he was going through difficulty. We do not know exactly what he was referring to, but we can imagine that it was persecution against the Christians. Paul wrote that it was harsh to a point of losing hope in life. Paul asked the Corinthian church to pray for him as he faced more persecution in the future. This was as Paul had faith that God would listen to their prayers. Second point, Paul explained why he had to postpone his visit to the Corinthian church. Paul wrote in his previous letter his plans to visit the church. Although Paul had plans to revisit, he was unable to go, and so some of the church members started to misunderstand. Thus, Paul wrote another letter to explain the reasons. Paul explained why he had to postpone his trip several times. The first was to obey God's command. The second was to give the church some time to figure out their problems among them. After this time was up, Paul hoped to spend more time with them. Paul put God's plans before his own. From afar, Paul prayed and hoped for the Corinthians to march in their faith. However, Paul came to find out that some of the church members had misunderstood his first letter. Paul therefore expressed that he had only love for them. Paul did not wish to rebuke them, but rather wanted to console and encourage them so that they would continue to establish the church. A third point, Paul outlined what he thought was apostleship to the Corinthian church. Paul thanked God for giving him his apostleship. He thanked God for giving strength to apostles to be victorious through Jesus Christ. He also thanked God that he was able to spread the scent of Christ as an apostle. The scent of Christians could help people to start a new life by helping them to get to know Jesus better. Paul confessed that his role was to pass on this scent. Although there were many who tried to make a living off God's words, he wished to be used as God's tool to spread the scent of Christ, and he told this to the Corinthian church. Furthermore, he told the church members that the evidence of his apostleship was in the Corinthian church members. Among the Corinthian church, there are a few who questioned Paul's apostleship, and so Paul very clearly pointed out that he was part of the new covenant given by God. Fourth point, Paul taught that those who were workers for the new covenant would seek glory beyond the belief. Paul wrote about the glory for the worker of the new covenant. This was the covenant given by Jesus. This was previously predicted by Jeremiah. Paul revealed that he was not a worker for the laws that tried to kill him, but 
a worker for God's new covenant, which saved him. Thus, the new covenant was full of glory. Paul explained that the laws eventually killed humans for their sins. Paul therefore explained the laws as an elementary level into the learning of Jesus' gospel. Paul then compared the laws to the gospel, the old covenant and the new covenant, the trials and the spirit, killing and saving, glory and bigger glory, finite and infinite things, etc. What Paul ultimately wanted to teach was that the old covenant was incomparable to the new covenant in terms of glory. Fifth point, Paul stressed that it was possible to spread the gospel no matter how severe the persecution or hardship became. Paul stressed that his apostleship focused only on spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. The reason Paul decided this was firstly because God gave Paul the light of the knowledge of God's glory. Secondly, God had given to Paul a treasure in jars of clay. Therefore, Paul declared that he was able to spread the gospel no matter what hardship or persecution. Paul confessed that when someone came across the gospel, their physical appearance may wither, but their internal state is renewed. He also added that the persecution was temporary, but God's glory was forever. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person he created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.